Ladies and guitar shippers, let's clear up this problem once and for all. And I'm not talking about that uh, little problem that I have that I have to use the special cream for. I'm talking about insuring a guitar for shipping. There are a variety of options. Some are better than others. So let's have a little look and see what we can do to uh, securely post items with an appropriate level of insurance. Let's have a look at the first option that probably most of us would choose, which would be a parcel force worldwide. Now, uh, they will they will insure a musical instrument, uh, but only with their regular insurance which is expensive and the maximum that you can insure a guitar with directly through parcel force is 200 pounds which will cost you about 80 quid uh, so as you can see here uh, it tells us quite clearly that musical instruments are excluded from enhanced compensation so you can insure some things uh, for their actual value but musical instruments are excluded from enhanced compensation. Guitars and brass instruments are particularly prone to damage and should be packed very carefully in a hard case. See our packaging guidelines. So parcel force, if you want to insure if you want to take it if you want to take a punt, you know, and just bung it in a box and see what happens. And strictly speaking, it should be okay, shouldn't it? If you give them something in decent condition, then uh, it should arrive at its destination in the same condition that it went in. However, Parson Force will not insure a guitar or any other musical instrument for its full value. Let's have a look at one of the others. Hermes. Yes, um, actually Hermes are my carrier of choice. I haven't, and, well, I've had a few delays in the post, but uh, I've never had anything that was either damaged or lost. But as I say, uh, I've had a sort of two week delay with, uh, with an item, but uh, overall, I say their service is really, really good. Uh, however, here it says sending items that we don't cover, in other words, that they will not insure and some of the most common non-compensation items and as we can see here quite clearly musical instruments you cannot insure against musical instruments for loss or damage that's i think that's pretty i think it's pretty poor that any of the carriers won't insure against loss when it's in their possession surely that's their responsibility but i don't make the rules up they do. Hmm. So Hermes, although I love them, uh, you cannot insure directly through them. Let's have a look at another. All right. So let's have a look at DH DHL. Very nice website. Tells you everything that you need to know. There's nothing hidden there. Nothing sneaky. Uh, so we're uh, sending to the United Kingdom. And first of all, we want to select the size. Now, you'll see here that it would be very, very unusual if you're selling a guitar, even with a case, uh, that it would weigh more than 15 kilograms. Nor normally, you know, sort of anywhere between 6 and 9 or 10 at the most, I would have thought. And, however, the size restriction here does say 60 by 60 by 60. Even if you're on to large, then it's only 65 by 65 by 65 and extra large 70, 70, 70. So uh, custom parcel size, it uses this option. So let's select this. And first of all, we're going to put in the weight. Let's say it's going to be nine kilograms. Length, usually standard guitar shipping box is about, is usually 117. Uh, the width is usually about 45 and the height is normally around 17. 
So that's obviously length by width by depth. So add custom dimensions to my quote. Lovely. So send, let's get a quote, and the collection postcode is this. Uh, and the fictitious delivery postcode. Let's hope that's a postcode, otherwise, I'm going to start again. Parcel size, standard. Okay, 0 to 15. So, quote and book. It's a book. So, we're really going to be interested in collection. Now, next day, door to door, which is brilliant. And uh, printer is required, a uh, 25 quid cover is included. No good if you send a thousand pound guitar. But all the same, let's see what options we have. So if I buy nine pounds 89, that is very, very good, less than a tenner to send a guitar from Blackpool to Bristol. So let's buy that now. And my details, I will be Mr. Don, Kiddick. My email address will be don dot kiddick at gmail dot com, and uh, we'd love to send you no thank you contacts. Here we go. Guitar value one thousand pounds. Now. As you, I hope you can see, uh, the total is £9.89. Now, down here, it says parcel protection and signature, and they do ensure, guitars, you have free protection for 25 quid. If you would like to protect your items to the full value of £990.38, pence, yes, increase my protection to the full value and obtain a signature. Take that. And now it's gone from nine pounds odd to sixty-nine pounds odd. So that's what you're going to pay for. You're going to pay sixty pounds insurance with DHL. Hmm. Let's have a look at another one. Now, this company is called Overland Express, and I have to say I rather like what these guys do. They're uh, agents, obviously. And they're not hideously expensive by any stretch. Hmm. So it's going from the United Kingdom, FY13JT, to the United Kingdom. And we'll use that, what was it? PS1. I think it's 5JT, wasn't it? We're pulling that seem to work. So weight, 9 kilograms, length. Is 117 by 45 by 17. Quote. So, uh, okay, so DHL, £43.39, uh, which including that is 52 quid. Parcel Force, now this looks better. Parcel Force, 20 quid. This one here is uh, 20 quid including that all of this service now insurance value and declared value and there is a big difference from insurance to insurance and right here it says uh, you can check this box that says i want to pay 20 pounds for additional insurance and let me tell you that this is. Come here, let's have a look at you. That this is. Eh, better. Uh, when it says I want to pay this 20 quid for the full insurance, they will. If anything went wrong, if it was either lost or broken into a thousand parts, they will pay you the full value. And when I say the full value, I mean the full value. So, 
if you can prove that you'd sold your guitar for £1,000 on eBay and that you've been paid for that, then you will have, obviously, an electronic record of that. And they will pay you the sale value, not anybody else's guess on what that might be worth. So if you've got some loss assessor who says, yeah, well, I would really, it was second hand and there were some marks on it and I would only value it at 600, 600 quid. If you'd sold it for a grand, you will get a grand back. However, there are obviously some T's and C's that you have to um, take into account. They want to see the internal packaging, they want to see the external pa packaging, and they want photos of the instrument to make sure that it was in, you know, a, a robust condition uh, before they do that. But Overland Express looks like a very, very easy way to send your guitar. They don't rip you off for the uh, uh, for the administration to you know organize it with parcel force or uh, whichever carriers they deal with and uh, so they look like a really really good option so they charge you basically two percent excuse me they charge you basically two percent of the value of the item that you're sending in our case it's a guitar let's have a look at one other option. This is an insurance company that will insure against anything that you're shipping that most companies won't. And obviously all we're talking about is instruments. But the important items on here is we need to know what are the accepted carriers well secure us or secures us or what you know, i suppose that's probably how you'd say it secures us insures parcel from classic carriers offering direct delivery with signature the carrier must have a tracking system what are the excluded goods uh, we insure 99 percent of items sold online except alcohol, dangerous or illegal goods, and there is a full exclusion list, but they certainly they do cover uh, instruments. And, and, the, and the, bottom, the bottom line is with these guys is that they basically they charge you one percent of whatever the and, and again, they will insure you against the sale value. Uh, same script again, they want uh, internal packaging photos, they want external packaging photos, uh, they will need the uh, sales receipts from eBay or uh, Reverb or wherever it is you sold your, whichever website you sold your guitar through, uh, but they will certainly insure you fully uh, either uh, for bulk shipping or for individual items and they charge 1% for this service because quite frankly it's low risk i mean i, I mean i i've sent li i've sent literally no that's worse better i've sent li i've sent literally hundreds of guitars through the post and apart from a couple of hiccups, and I can only call them hiccups uh, here and there, then I would have to say that I've had no problems. And, and, that's, and that's been for years. So the most important thing when you're shipping is, and I've done a couple of shipping videos, uh, is that you put the, you pack the thing robustly, you make sure that it's labelled very, very clearly. Uh, <coughs> the other thing that I always do is I tuck an extra label inside the packaging so that if for any reason the shipping label from the front 
uh, either comes adrift or gets damaged in some way, and and so it's and so it's pretty safe, uh, generally speaking. But this is a way to ensure the absolute ultimate safety that uh, the insurers will provide. The other thing that I might mention, and this is something I never considered until today, until I did a little research, is that uh, DHL uh, uh, and their website is astonishing. Uh, they do say to you that uh, as, um, as an experienced global career, all of our systems are automated, so pack robustly uh, because it might get dropped, it might get shunted on a conveyor belt, you see, uh, or uh, there was a third thing as well, which I can't, so anyway, it might get slightly knocked about, uh, or so, so make sure you pack it properly, and really, you should be okay. But if you are concerned, and you do want to ensure, probably, my favourite option, well, yeah, my two favourite options definitely would be that secures us, uh, where you pay 1% of the of the final sale fee, not of an assessor's fee, uh, or through that uh, Overlander Express. They look pretty good. So with that, I shall bid you a fond farewell. Have a lovely evening, my friends. Adios, amigos. Ta-ra.